It's so pretty here. You got this. <laughs> I'm just so happy right now. That's good. <laughs> Oh really sad. Sad and yeah. crazy to see, you know, to be at the place where it actually happened. I was like, oh lord, we're about to see an accident. It was not an easy climb to no. get up here. You gotta get on my finger if you want to live. It was challenging for sure, but totally worth it. My legs are dead. Good morning, Good morning everybody! Woo, let's go! So, <laughs> yeah, you've already seen quite a bit. So, we decided today to Wait, hike... This oh, this way? Is it was it That way. Oh. Okay, anyways, I don't know where I'm going. For today, we decided to hike the three peaks of otter. So, in this video right here, you can watch. We did these hikes last year but in two days. We didn't do them all in one day. And I remember thinking last year, it'd be so fun to do them all in, wow, so pretty here. Do them all in one day. So it's only like 12 miles, I think total, but two of the hikes are pretty steep. And the first one we did is Sharp Top, which is, I believe the steepest. It's only a mile and a half one way, but lots of steps. You just saw that we watched Sunrise for a little bit and it was very, very, very packed. And now we're on our way to go watch the rest of the sunrise on Buzzard's Roost. You got this? Oh, this, there's no one here. <laughs>
We just saw a plane crash site mm -hmm. um, of a bomber plane from 1943. It's so crazy that the plane parts, they're everywhere. And also there's a memorial down there and you can get to know what happened, what actually happened that time, that day. It says in 1943, they were on a training mission and they were flying low. That's when their plane crashed on Sharp Top Mountain. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, five men, they lost their life. Um, yeah, they're so young too. The oldest was 29, the youngest was like 21. Really sad. Sad and yeah. crazy to see, you know, to be at the place where it actually happened. Yeah, it's like during World War II. So I'm assuming they were just training for, I guess, the war. I'm not a big history person, so. Yeah. But it's just so unreal that like we're standing here at a crash site and we didn't know it was here like we saw literally a review we were on buzzer's roost we were looking at sharp top mountain to see the elevation gain on all trails and we saw a review and the person was like yeah the bomber plane crash site was cool too or something like that and we were like what? And we look at the coordinates and mm -hmm. I put it in my map so from buzzer's roost it's about 15 minutes hike down the trail is as of right now not really easy to follow because of all the leaves i don't know if it's you know like you see it better during like the summertime and yeah. all the leaves are not on the ground but it's not really easy so like be careful if you were to come down here do your research if you want to do this and make sure you know where you're going <laughs> yeah we came here last time last year and we had no idea there was a plane crash site here yeah um but wow. it's actually pretty cool to just you know mm -hmm. be at that place um, i know it's just wow like i mean r.i.p like Makes me really sad. Also, just one little rant. People who come here, do not vandalize the freaking crash site. There's like names people carved into the plane. Like, I just feel like it's so disrespectful. Like, let's yeah. not vandalize things, please, where like people died here. Anyways, um, yeah, that's it, so. Now we are about to head back. There's a good, pretty decent climb. It's gonna be steep. <laughs> Once we go to the top and then it's all downhill from there. So I just cannot wait to go to the parking lot, eat something because I'm yeah. so hungry. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And then we have to go to the other two peaks that we'll do later. Yes. So we'll see you at the parking lot. Follow along. <laughs> Where am I supposed to chase you? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> we just got back so there's a camp store here so we're gonna go check that out and see if they have some extra food because I don't think we brought enough unfortunately <laughs> well that's my fault we bought four cliff bars we're definitely gonna eat two right now I'm, I'm assuming a tiny bag of trail mix and then a tiny bag of bougie I think we might need more we'll see if, if I find something like really yummy and delicious I might get some <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> are you okay I'm okay anyways <gasps> there's a shuttle also, there's a shuttle that goes close to the top if you want to be a cheater. Just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, let's go check out the store. Well, unfortunately, the store was not open. I don't know why, I said it was literally open from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Sunday. So, I don't know what's up with that. But anyways, we're on to our next hiking trail. The next peak of Otter called Flat Top. But first, we gotta eat something because we are hungry. I'm actually really full after one cliff bar. 
kind of weird. Mm -hmm. But anyways, so real quick, I don't think in the very beginning I explained very well like what, I don't know where we are. We are at the Peaks of Otter. So there's three peaks. The first one we did, which is the most popular, is called Sharp Top. And the second one that we're going to do right now is called Flat Top. And the third one is called Harkening Hill. And also has a little farm along the trail called Johnson Farm, I believe. I'm going to have some links below if you want to learn more about all this stuff. So we're just here hiking all the three peaks in one day because that was something I wanted to do last year when we came here and did it. But we did it in two days. Sharp Top, first one we did. Super tough. It was, what's the two? <laughs> what's that mean? I thought you were trying to tell me something. Because <laughs> you're rating two out of ten. <laughs> I thought you were going for Sharp Top. Flat top. Oh. <laughs> and hard <Hulk> and <laughs> No. <laughs> you can drop your cup if you <laughs> Um, what's the same? Shop yeah. top. Super tough. Yes. That was, that's where it was. Super tough. It's a short trail though. One and a half miles up one way. Super steep. Um, you gain 1300 feet of elevation. And super cool this hot though. I see why it's very popular. Because there's like a little shelter. I think it used to be an old restaurant back in the day, if I remember correctly, but it's like a little shelter. This is like made out of stone and there's like cool little observation decks up there and a perfect spot for sunrise, but <clears throat> very crowded today. Very, very crowded. It was like an entire school group or something like came down here on a Saturday to come hike. Yeah. Which is fine, you know, everyone can enjoy the nature, love it. But there was nowhere, like we couldn't, there wasn't room to sit in the spot that we wanted to sit. And also some kids were being a little extra, uh, what's the word, dangerous and getting too close to the edge of a little steep cliff like that. I was like, oh Lord, we're about to see an accident. But thankfully no. So anyways, um, and then we left and, sorry, I'll let you talk soon. I know you just wait. No, I'm listening. <laughs> And then we left from Sharp Top to go check out Buzzer's Roost, which is another little spot like you can, you know, see really cool views. We were hoping to see sunrise from there, but that spot is not really a good spot for sunrise because the trees are blocking the sunrise part. But maybe it's a good spot for sunset. But it was really nice because you had solitude. Like we were the only two up there, so it was nice. And also too windy. <laughs> it was very windy. It was, yeah. It was very, very windy. <laughs> I think it was more windier than the sharp top. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right. It was like extra windy for some reason. <laughs> what would you give the rating, sharp top? Um, views a good, good spot for sunrise. Eight and a half out of 10. That's good. I do enjoy the hike. It's steep, it's challenging. Great sunrise spot, but it was crowded and it was like, Neh. we passed so many people on the way up. I was like, we're just fast hikers. And there's so many people, like long lines of people. Like we would come up to long lines of people and I'd be like, um, can I squeeze past you guys? <laughs> I like, felt weird, but they were nice and like, yeah, sure. Like, yeah, we don't like, uh, you know, walking behind people, especially if you have to slow down. Yeah, we had we were on a mission. We wanted to get we there. We usually hike like pretty decent pace, so and we like to maintain it. Yeah, we like challenging ourselves, so that's why. I mean, we still enjoy nature, you know. Like when we get to somewhere, we enjoy take it all in, and then we go do something. Else. Well, you ready? Oh, what was I gonna give? It? I didn't give my rating yet. What's your rating, babe? Hmm. And it's fall time. Fall leaves are pretty. So I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah. You want to do this trail? Yeah, now? let's go. Right, I'm let's, ready. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs>
We made it. <laughs> oh, that was that was a tough hike. Okay. <laughs> we made it to flat top. We're on flat top again for the second time, and it is windy once again, so I have to drag this thing up. <laughs> At least this time we have a view. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last time when we came here, it was all foggy, so we couldn't see what it looks like. See this view? You can see for miles of fog. <laughs> Like, Literally saw nothing but the rocks in front of us. That's yeah. it. <laughs> it was not an easy climb to no. get up here. It was steep, and especially after doing sharp top, <gasps> my legs were already dead. And it's not that busy. So mm -hmm. as of right now, we're the only two up here. Totally, highly recommend. We had a pretty good experience getting up here. I'm gonna rate this one in 8.6 out of 10. <laughs> And I will rate this eight and a half out of ten. <laughs> nice. With an average of eight point five six. I don't know. <laughs> I can't I don't do math. <laughs> I don't want to do math. <laughs> I guess we're gonna eat something because I'm hungry, and then we're gonna head back down and hit our last and final peak of otter. <laughs> yep, last so, peak of otter. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Ah. I'm gonna eat the banana. Do a little dance again because we made it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you so mean? You're doo doo head. You're doo doo. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> there was a tree. God said, yeah, stop it right now. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. Um. What's happening? We're Besides back you? from the hike. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you say it again? We're back from the hike. <laughs> Say it like you know English. Today, Junior. T -t Today, Junior. Our. Our. Back. Back. From. From. The. The. We are back from the hike. Woo! <laughs> We're gonna go to the next peak of otter. Last one. And what is it? Hargreen Hill. And Johnson Farm. And Johnson Farm. Yeah, it's a loop about 4.3 miles, something like that. The elevation gain is less than a thousand feet. Thank goodness. It's like 905 feet mm -hmm. of elevation gain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, way There's better. There's a ladybug. <gasps> hey, yo, baby. No, don't get in here. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You gotta get on my finger if you want to live. I made a friend. Everyone get your face out of the camera. Okay. I'm gonna go let it be free outside now. Be right back. Come on, baby. BRB. Oh, it's the little fly. It went pew, pew. Okay, that was cool. So, onward. Here we are. We made it. Last final peak of otter. Here we come.
Okay, that was all for Harkening Hill and Johnson's farm. We didn't stay too long because we are quite tired and ready to go home and eat so much yumminess. Y'all just wait because we're going to show you what we are munching on later. But we have completed. We have completed the three peaks of otters. Three peaks of otter in one day. In one day, yeah. It was challenging for sure, but totally worth it. My legs are dead, but it's gonna feel so good tomorrow to just relax. And wow, it's just gonna be such a cool memory to have for the rest yeah. of our lives. It was so much fun. It was so much Today fun. Today was yeah. beautiful. I'm sorry, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Today was perfect, starting from the sunrise and then all the hikes that we did. It was, it was really good. Yeah. So proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ew, cooties. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Anyways. Oh. <laughs> you can do <laughs> Excuse you. I feel like I have something else to say. So anyways, <laughs> we are on our way back down to the car and we'll meet you guys at Walmart. Because we're gonna we're gonna take you to Walmart with us. Because we got some really important items to pick up, ain't that right? Mm, yeah. <gasps> Just wait. Just, just in your head, think about what, what we're gonna make because I'm so excited. Here's a hint. We had this certain food item in Sedona, Arizona. So if you watch that video, you can watch it here. Yeah, we're gonna have that again because I'm craving it so hard. Hello. <laughs> so we are obviously not at Walmart. Um, I totally forgot to vlog that part. Anyways, we are home now and we're gonna take a shower soon, but we really wanted to eat our special treat like right now, so. Ah, zoom in on this. We got some items to make root beer floats and I'm so excited right now. You guys have no idea. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm just like so into root beer floats now. Like I don't even like besides that time in Sedona, Arizona, I don't even remember the last time I've had like a root beer float. So I'm like, why am I so obsessed with root beer? I really didn't think I liked them. And also like I only drink like one or two sodas a year. So anyways, this is probably like my maybe might be my fourth or fifth root beer of the year. I had someone I was home visiting family. We're gonna do this. Oh, I don't have an ice cream scoop. But here we go. Oh buddy. Oh yeah. Lots of ice cream. Okay. Next, one more big scoop. Okay. Alright. Now is this a twisty? Twist off? I think so. Oh, it says twist off. Yeah. It hurts. Ooh. Ooh. Now for the fun part. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Oh, stop. 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 I think I'm supposed to pour it like this. Yeah. Oh. Nope, it's still fizzing. It's just fizzing. It's not the pour, it's just. It's not fizzing. Oh, Jesus. God, help me. Oh no. <laughs> We're gonna have to give this a hot minute, so come back in a little while. Look at that. Oh boy. You wanna try it? I'll try it. Ding! <laughs> Let's try it. Mmm. Fizz. Oh yeah. We gotta get all the root beers just all way down here. This is not the best I've made, but it'll be better next time, I promise. Mmm. Either way, it still hits the spot. So now, after we eat this, we're gonna go take a shower, get all clean and nice and not stinky, and <laughs> then we're gonna have some dinner. I don't know if you guys wanna watch that, but we'll see. Just keep watching. Oh my god, cooking is so stressful. Felt like it took me forever to make this. Anyways, let me show you what we are having for dinner. We got some brown rice. We got some Brussels sprouts that I sauteed. And we have some tempeh and sauteed spinach with some guacamole. We're gonna eat this and enjoy the rest of the night and watch Kalapani on Netflix. Yay! I don't know if you can see him back there, but he is editing some stuff. <laughs> Wave to your fans. Say peace out. Peace out. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment. And make sure you click that notification bell wherever it may be. And see you guys next time. Is that an outro theme song? I just made one up. Bye. There's one. Mm.
Hold on. Oh my god. I gotta boogie. Um, put him up. <laughs> <laughs> you never heard that? No. Put him up. I'm gonna rob you. Put him up. Put him higher. Raise the roof. <laughs> Give me all your. <laughs> I'm putting it up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I got that on the camera. <laughs> like you gotta leave too. You gotta leave. We both caught some leaves. We were adopted by some leaves. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this one. Let's go. <laughs> These are my all. <laughs> <laughs>